Hey guys, for today's video, we will be making this easy like Sunday bikini bottom. But first of all, I would like to say thank you to those of you who have already downloaded my patterns on Etsy and Ravelry. And also, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Uh, for this project, we will be using a fingering weight yarn, a 3mm crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and some scissors. For this video, I will be demonstrating for my size that is size petite XXS but if you are of different size, you will still be able to follow me as well. Uh, if you prefer, sometime next week, I will be able to upload the separate video in detail how you can adjust the stitches to fit your size. So we're going to start the first row by chaining 14 plus 2. Now, if you are of different size, you need to be able to know the width of your crotch. So, for example, for the size that I am making, that is 2 inches and that is excluding the borders. So, you need to know the width of your crotch and then chain as many chains until you get to the width of your size and then add two chains at the very end for the turning chains and again I will be able to explain to you in detail how you can adjust the stitches to fit your size while working with the gauge that is given on the pattern moving on to the first row once you have the length of your chains plus two chains we're going to work a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and continue doing a double crochet for all of the stitches across and for row two we have two options we can either continue doing a chain three or I'm going to show you. I have here two gauge swatches. So one, one of the swatches, you will see that there is a, there is a gap in the sides. So this one has no gap, while the other swatch, you can see that, you can see that there are gaps. You see that in the sides. So. It does not really matter so much. I'm just a, I'm just a perfectionist, but I think it looks so much better without the gaps in the side. So I don't know. You can just do whatever you prefer, but for me, I think I prefer the one without the gaps because it looks so much better with the final look of the project. You can see it's not so visible. So just do whatever you prefer or whatever feels comfortable for you. For this video, I will be doing the one without the um, the one without the gaps. Yeah. So. So what you're going to do is to either continue with a chain three, or instead of doing a chain three we're going to turn our work and then do a single crochet in that very same stitch in the first stitch like so do a single crochet and then chain two so in this way you will be able to avoid the gap that is being created by the turning chains so but then if you prefer just work a turning chain three okay now we're just going to continue with the pattern, work a double crochet in the next stitch and for all of the stitches across until you get to the end of the row. I forgot to tell you that row 2 is our non-increasing row which means that we did not add or increase any stitches 
Now for the next row, we're just going to repeat row 2, the non-increasing row, three more times. And that is the end of row 5. Now come row 6. Row 6 is our increasing row. And that means that we will be adding one more double crochet into the very first stitch and one more double crochet at the very last stitch. And again, row 2 is our non-increasing row and row 6 is our increasing row. So if you are working the size that I am making, you will, uh, after you've worked row 6, you will keep on repeating row 2 and row 6 alternately until you have a total of 22 rows. So here we are with row 6. After you do your turning chains, we're just going to add one more stitch in the very first stitch. And then continue adding one more double crochets for all of the stitches across and then at the very last stitch work two double crochets. So if you are working with a different size, you need to be able to measure your length from the crotch to your lower hip. And then after you've finished row 6, you will just keep on repeating row 2 and row 6 until you get to the length from your crotch to your lower hip. So once you have 22 rows or the length that you need, we're going to chain 3. And then we're going to do a cross double crochet stitch. If you haven't heard of this stitch, you will basically skip the next stitch and work a double crochet in the next stitch. And again, work another double crochet on the stitch that you just skipped. I also have a separate video for this. You can just check that one out in the description. And now we're just going to continue working a cross double crochet for all of the stitches across until you get to the end of the row. At the end of the row, we're going to work one double crochet at the very last stitch. And this is then the front part of our bikini. Now we're just going to fasten off and cut our yarn. And we will proceed to the other part, the back part of our project. Okay, so we're just going to slip stitch our yarn in the first stitch. Are you guys still with me? So... <laughs> This is probably the longest video I've ever done. So now we're going to single crochet and chain 2 or in your case just do a chain 3. And then continue with double crochets for all of the stitches across. At the end of the row, we're just going to turn and repeat row 1 three more times. Now for the next row, we're going to work an increasing row. And that means that we're going to add one stitch in the first stitch and one stitch in the last stitch.
The next row will be a non-increasing row which means we will not be adding any stitches. <laughs> So after you've done the non-increasing row, we're just going to repeat the increasing row and non-increasing row one more time. <laughs> working with bigger sizes you may need to repeat the increasing and non-increasing row a few more times because that is important for the shaping in the back and then after that we're just going to keep on increasing until we get to the length that we need and to be able to determine the length that we need you need to measure yourself and I will show you how to do that on the next clip So with the tape measure, you're going to determine the length of your bikini as to where you want it to end. If you want it high-waisted, measure it a little bit higher. And if you want it to be low-waisted, measure it a little bit lower. After you have the length that you need, we're going to work the cross double crochet row like what we did in the front. Like so. So again, chain 3 and cross double crochet for all of the stitches across. <laughs> row of our back part now we're going to work the border in the sides now we're going to work in each of the rows in the sides chain one single crochet in the next row and then work a pico stitch on top of the single crochet so chain three and then slip stitch in to the very first chain to make a pico stitch and then we're just going to keep on repeating that for all of the rows across so single crochet in the next row and work a pico stitch on top of the single crochet and repeat that for all of the row until you get to the end
Also, I forgot to mention that if you have clear elastics, please use that because that will definitely help the bikini have a, a bit uh, tight uh, fitting and uh, snug and not loose in the sides. So at the end of the very last row, we're going to work a single crochet. And then instead of doing a pico stitch, we're going to proceed with the strap. So chain three. And then work a double crochet two together or double crochet decreased into that uh, chain space. After that, we will chain one. And then again, back into that same chain space, we're going to work a double crochet three together. So this will be the start of our straps. And for me, this is the most crucial part because you need to be able to determine how tight or how snug you want your strap to be. Now, if you prefer, you can just uh, fasten this off and then work a tie straps for your straps. But for the size that I am making, we will be making um, uh, nine clusters in total and then connect that to the back part of our project. All right, moving on to the straps, we're going to do the second cluster. Turn your work and slip stitch into the chain one space from the center. Like so. And now we're going to chain three for our second cluster. And then again in that same chain one space, we're going to work a double crochet decrease or double crochet two together. Now we're going to chain one and again back into that center chain space, work a double crochet three together. Like so. Now we're just going to keep on repeating uh, what we did in the second cluster until we have a total of nine clusters. So I will meet you later for the last uh, for the last part. And again, if you are working a different size, I suggest that you use a string first and then determine how how many clusters you need to work with. So. Okay, so at the very last cluster, we're going to turn our work, slip stitch back into the chain space, chain three, and then this time we will only do the double crochet decrease in the center chain space. Now we're going to take the back part of the project and then we're going to work a slip stitch into the chain 3 space from the last row of the back part. Slip stitch and that is how we will connect the back from the front. Now we're going to chain 1 and then continue working a cross double crochet for the chain one space from the straps. Now we're just going to cut our yarn and fasten off and we're going to repeat exactly what we did from the border all the way to the straps 
for the other side of the project. Hey guys, if you like to see more of this type of videos and tutorials, please let me know in the comment section below what type of crafts or garments would you like me to make. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Wow.